now regulation of gene expression in p bad vector we have seen the regulation using lac vector uh, sorry lac operon we have seen the regulation using tryptophan operon now let us see the regulation using arabinose operon and both of this uh, all of these three different operons are the most important operons to study so you can find the videos about lac operon tryptophan operon as well as this arabinose operon in my youtube channel you can go uh, look for it it will help you to understand the process okay now again the basic concept of arabinose operon is that it is also having several regions it is having operator 1 operator 2 and also inducer 1 inducing two sites and then we are having the promoter for the bad or the gene bad uh, coding promoter or p bad is uh, the promoter is called the p bad and the controlling molecule or uh, uh, for the expression of this arabinose operon and the, for the expression of this p bad promoter is the ara c molecule now ara c uh, when it is a single monomer it does not have any activity but the dimerized content of RAC is a strong regulator of this protein expression so when uh, the RAC molecule is dimerized with itself it can bind with both the sequence O2 and I1 via this kind of interlinkage and by via bending the DNA molecule like that so it will bend the DNA and attach the O2 and I1 via this dimerized section where they attach to O2 and I1 via the C terminal ends of the protein dimer. Okay, so so there when they this RAC dimer sit onto the place like that, protein uh, so promoter for RAC is there. So no polymerase can come and sit onto this para uh, this promoter region and cannot transcribe the BAD gene which is required for the synthesis for required. Uh, to be expressed inside the cell okay so this is the particular thing and what we can utilize here we and and what will happen when we add arabinose so this thing happen due to the absence of arabinose but when we add arabinose adding arabinose is dramatically forcing this dimer of rac to be modified so the conformation is changed for the RAC dimer in such a way it was previously bound with I1 and O2 now it is binding with I1 and I2 instead of I1 and O2 so as it is releasing O2 so the DNA strand is again getting linearized from the bending position so DNA is getting linearized now the promoter uh, sequence of this BAD is accessible for the uh, RNA polymerase to sit on and start the transcription so now it can transcribe the BAD genes and it can give us the products. Now if you utilize this PBAD promoter in the PBAD vector, so inside the PBAD vector we are again having the origin of replication, multiple cloning sites, so these are the multiple cloning sites, then stop codon, then also histidine tag, remember we have talked about this purification tag, so we are having all these things there, but before our desired gene insertion we are having the promoter. So we uh, we are trying to express our desired gene under the influence of P bad or the promoter for arabinose operon. So we know the funda of promoter of arabinose operon. So when we provide uh, no arabinose, when there is no arabinose on the system, in those cases the expression of our desired gene is blocked due to the dimerization of RAC. But when we add arabinose in the medium, it will change the conformation of RAC and then the RNA poll can sit onto this PBAD promoter and can transcribe our desired gene and can translate our desired gene into products. Okay, so providing arabinose is acting as here as the inducer. So arabinose is acting as an inducer again in this case. So in the PBAD vector, we are having this particular region PBAD, then uh, our desired gene sequence, then uh, then the site for enterokinase cleavage and also the multiple cloning site and all these things, histidine tags and all these things. We are also having a selectable marker which is ampicillin here. We are also having origin of replication somewhere here. Sorry. We are also having origin of replication and also having the RAC because RAC is the most important molecule to control and regulate the expression of this PBAT promoter in this case. Okay, now in this picture, it, this is a uh, western blot uh, which is showing the increase in synthesis of a cloned gene product when the different levels of arabinose is provided 
uh, to the culture of host cell. Now, if from the beginning, very few amount of arabinose is provided, so the expression of our desired gene is very less. In this first one, there is no arabinose provided, so no expression of our desired gene seen. Then the little arabinose, little expression, and as we are increasing the percentage of arabinose inside the medium, the expression of our desired gene is getting increased. So that is telling us that arabinose is acting as a positive regulator or inducer of this PBAD vector operon system. And if we look at uh, this uh, structure of this PBAD operon closely here in P PBAD vector, we are having PBAD promoter, which is a promoter for the arabinose operon, promoter for uh, the synthesis of gene B, gene A, and gene D. Then we are having the ATG sequence. Then we are having six histidine sequences which can act as uh, the purify, purification probe for us. Then we are having epitope sequences. These epitope sequences are aspartate sequence and lysine sequence like that. Right after that we are having the enterokinase sequences which are common to all type of PBAD vectors. Now actually there are three different variants of the same PBAD vector. Variant A, Variant B and Variant C. Now among all these variants, this up to this part of the segment is constant. So this part of the segment. So PBAD, then ATG sequence, then 6-histidine, then epitope, then EK site or enterokinase cleavage site. So up to this part of the sequence is totally conserved in all the three variants. But the variable region of these variants are in MCS because the MCS or multiple cloning site region is different in these three different variants. In variants A, we are having different like proline, serine, serine. In variant B, we are having arginine, tryptophan, glycine and serine. In variant C, we are having arginine, tryptophan which is similar but from the glycine it is isoleucine, arginine, proline and so on. So we are varying in the MCS region in these three variants of PBAD. Now, utilizing these three variants, we can provide uh, we can utilize these variants for our study by cloning different segment of DNAs, different segment of genes for the protein expression analysis. Okay, so that's it. And I hope this video is helping you to understand the expression vectors and their importance. Thank you.